Okay, graphing exponential functions um, that have either stretch or compression as far as transformations go. So we'll start out with, we're trying to graph three multiplied by two raised to the x power. But in doing so, let's first go ahead and graph two to the x power. And really identifying these key points, if you plug in a zero for the x, two to the zero power is gonna be one. And then the second key point, one, when we plug that in, we have two to the first power, which is just gonna be two. These key points are important as far as getting some extra key points on this graph over here. Whenever we have a three multiplied out in front or any number bigger than one multiplied out in front here, what we're gonna to refer to that as is a stretch. If there's a number between zero and, uh, zero and one, we're gonna to refer to that as a compression. We'll see that in just a second. But how we get these additional key points on our graph is basically if we've represented all of our Y values with two to the X, What's happening to each one of our y values is each one of these y values, the two to the x's, are multiplied by three. So using these key points that we already located, we can get additional key points on this graph by multiplying each one of the y values by three. So the key points are gonna be one comma two times three makes six. And then for the second one, zero one, we get a zero. And then our y value, when you multiply that by three, we're gonna get one times three makes three. So our key points on here are gonna be zero, three, and one, six. And then we just kind of draw the rest of the graph in here. It's gonna be a little bit taller and skinnier than our original graph, but it does not shift our horizontal asymptote. That's still gonna be at the X axis. <clears throat> and it should look a little bit taller and skinnier than the original. It's more difficult to see with exponential functions as opposed to say our square function or cube function. All right, let's look at one more of these. This time we're gonna have what we refer to as a compression. Whenever that multiple out in front is between zero and one, we refer to that as being a compression. Okay, so finding these additional key points. Again, we start with the same key points, but remember it's just multiply that Y value by whatever the multiple is out in front. So two times one third is two thirds. And then zero comma one times one third is one third. So let's plot these key points. We have uh, zero one third and then one comma two thirds right about here on our graph. Put this all together, try to get a nice graph. What's gonna happen is it should look like um, flatter closer to the x-axis than the original, but basically it's gonna have this sort of look going to it. Identify those key points. That's really the key um, as far as getting a few points on the graph here. Again, this does not affect our horizontal asymptote. It's still gonna be at y equals zero. Domain's still gonna be negative to positive infinity. Hope this helps out as you're working with stretches and compressions on exponential functions. Good luck.